Hey guys, my name is Stefan. And I'm Amy. And we are the Cabin of Courage. Um, we went for a bit of a row. We're staying just. Oh, you can't quite see. I'll show you in a second. On the but, boat um, ramp. Huh? On the yeah. boat ramp. Yeah, just around the corner from the boat ramp. And um, been rowing. This is about the rowing speed, by the way, because I think I'm fighting a little bit of a little bit of current. So it's not it's not super fast. But I brought the propeller because I wanted to try this, obviously, with the skateboard motors. All right, let's give this a shot. Waves! Ah, so relaxing. And so quiet! How good is this? This works so well. Like, my god. Incredibly impressive, I reckon, anyway. It's just a bit hard to, like, you know, hold and such. Oh, and we're staying at the Catamaran Camping Ground. But yeah, I'd say it's a uh, successful test for this thing. I need to buy something else, we've got Bunnings, just to put around this to make it a bit straighter so it doesn't like... Uh, 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 as much. That? Yeah, sure. But, um, yep, yeah, I'd say that works pretty well. And, um, I'm gonna have the post going across, and the two propellers going in, so I can hold it like this. Maybe even attach it to the seat, so I can just relax back and just, you know, hold the remote and just... It's gonna be impressive. I reckon it's gonna work well. Then, we'll take it to the stairway of heaven. <laughs> Finally cleared up over the last few days. It's obviously still very windy and uh, rain clouds possibly to come. It's supposed to rain today, but it did this morning and it's supposed to five. So we've got five hours to do a four hour walk, which should be pretty possible. Check it out. Look at this typical Australia right here. What's going on, buddy? Well, Huntsman. It's so adorable. So uh, this is supposed to be all, one of the most, is this uh, the most southern spot in Australia? Yeah, it's about Southern Point in Australia, it's so it's... It's fantastic or whatever here. Yeah, it's close to the South Pole, so it's going to be cold. That's why the jacket and the shorts. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we're not doing the uh, six to eight days one way. Because that is crazy. Absolutely crazy. Yeah, that's, that's pretty crazy it's actually one way. Yeah, it's just one way. Yeah. That's commitment. Right, I'll see you on the trail. Apparently they start this walk out with a really nice boardwalk. Check it out. What did you say? Apparently... It's a very leisure walk, like it's, I think I said at the start it has 3 kilometers of a hill, but I don't think it's that hard and it's very well like maintained, even though it's like 18 kilometers return. It's a lot of maintained, <laughs> but to be fair there is a lot of mud, I mean look at this, oh my god. But it's been raining for the last week. Yeah, we didn't realise, like they all, like lots of people have said that it's going to rain all the time while we're here it's obviously you know southwest and just west is just so rainy but oh my god it is like all the time this is like the first time we've seen sun since monday and yeah. it's now almost friday what day is it thursday something like that <laughs> but yeah usually we have like one chill day and like a bunch of like doing stuff days we've had like two chill days maybe, maybe three. three maybe three <laughs> chill days time kind of flies but we did we did some kayaking yesterday so it was quite windy but um check this path out it's just like it's pretty much just, there's like two beams, two wood planks as a boardwalk and it just goes for ages. I'm going to put you up, I'm sorry for the wind. Three k's. Three k's? Goes to three k's. We just bumped into a guy that was on the way, on the opposite way, he was on the way back. And he said, we're not far now. But, um, so he said that as soon as you get over the corner, it's like a wall of wind just hits you and he's like you might be able to take a photo if you can like lean into the wind enough he's like you might be able to sort of sit down so i'm um, pretty keen to see how windy this is and we'll uh, show you when we get there you probably won't be able to hear anything if it's as windy as he says but i'll just show a bit of a view without the without the audio it's probably a good move it's coming a bit sunny again beautiful Welcome to the southernmost part of Australia.
gonna put a wind turbine here? Yeah, I love it. Insane. We declare this the southernmost point of Australia. There it is. We made it. I'm gonna High five. Southernmost point. Hell yeah. So it was uh, riding along some of these trails. <laughs> Fuck. I um, came down here, super slippery, completely stopped going forwards. Oh, could hardly move. And I had to put my foot down. Oh. Oh no! Oh, got it. Woo! <laughs> Shit. I should have, in hindsight, I should have taken the high side. I thought I'd be able to coast through it. It looks pretty solid. Turns out it's not. It's pretty uh, squelchy now, that's for sure. That was motor under for a while. Should be all right. So I think I did the smart thing by um, as soon as I had to put one foot down, I uh, oh come on, this ground's so soft. As soon as I had to put um, put one foot completely down, I took my other shoe off while I was like that. So I. Oh, I feel like I'm no, sweet. Oh, I better go get my shoe. I'll show you a bit more of this track though, it's pretty interesting. Now that my shoe's completely drenched. Fuck it, right? <laughs> Luckily, uh, usually I'm pretty prepared, so if I do put my foot down and stuff like this, I've uh, got a beer, you know, just in case. And just in case I need a spare, you know, a pair of shoes or something, I brought a spare beer, so I should be all right. And uh, I'm keen to see where this trail goes. It's definitely getting more and more wet and more sludgy, but hopefully it keeps getting this way, it's pretty good. I figured out why it's so wet and slushy along this path, and it's because it literally connects to a river. Like, river, deep river right there. So it's gonna be probably this the whole way. But, as long as I can get to it. Oh, so sludgy. Oh, definitely need to do a lot more speed than this. It's a big crunch. And it smells god awful. Alright. It's gonna be equally deep this whole thing. I need some more speed. Oh, there we go. Oh, what? The typical car traps. Whee! So easy to get over the bike. I love it. A lot of these like little paths and tracks and stuff, they're totally just like people couldn't be bothered going to the toilet. <laughs> I reckon. Oh, I'm gonna turn around here. Shit. Quick little you turn. There we go. 
Hopefully it's not private property. It doesn't have a number, so it must be, uh, usually it's private property that's a number. They make it obvious, they're like, Bio security control. Storm, storm monster. Oh, liquid. oh, it's a helipad. That's what it is. You got fuel. Yes. That little liquid. I'm not gonna lie, I really do want to continue, but that's pretty sketchy. It's pretty damn sketchy. And the cross branches. Oh. I'm gonna see if it keeps going, and I might, I might attempt this somehow. Maybe. I'll consider it, if it goes somewhere. But if it's like, that's where it ends, because obviously that's when people stop coming, then just find another path. Uh, I walked it a little bit, and it looks like it actually kind of does go somewhere. I don't know how far it goes, because obviously I can't bother walking the whole thing. So I'm going to try and get the bike across this dodgy ass bridge. And uh, yeah, this is one thing I bloody love about Suron. It's so light, you can kind of like, you know, risk it with stuff like this a little bit more, because you're never completely screwed because you can carry the bike. Yeah. Should be relatively easy. 